So hey y'all and welcome. Welcome back to Lisa's Cottage. I am so happy to have you here. Today's video or recipe share is being brought to you by Lisa's Kitchen. One of my faithful subscribers requested that I make this recipe and share it with you all. And it is from Dining on a Dime. And I am using Tara Kellum and Jill Cooper's recipe today. And it is meatloaf. And I've made this, I said a handful of times, but I'm, I really think I've made it more than a handful of times now. And Ken really enjoys it. And it's super easy peasy stuff quick cleanup, and it has some yummy deliciousness going on. So we're making their recipe of meatloaf. Today's recipe is their meatloaf recipe, and if you happen to have their book, it's on page 191. And if you do not have their book, you can hop over to their channel, or you can Google livingonadime.com, and that's Tara Kellum and Jill Cooper and it will take you to their website and you can order one of their cookbooks from their website. The ingredients for the meatloaf, one and a half pound of ground beef that may be just a wee bit more than one and a half pound, one cup of milk, half a teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of dry mustard, a fourth teaspoon of pepper. It calls for three-fourths cup of the quick cooking oatmeal or a half cup of the dry bread crumbs. I use the dry bread crumbs. One egg, a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of Worcestershire or Worcestershire sauce, and then a half cup of ketchup or barbecue sauce. And I've always used the ketchup. And then I have my disposable gloves for when I'm mixing all of these ingredients together into the ground beef. And the instructions read, mix everything together except ketchup. Put into a loaf pan, spread ketchup over the top, bake at 350 for one hour, or until done, serves six. And I have the oven over there preheating to 350 while I'm mixing these ingredients. And I like to just go ahead and break my egg yolk up just a wee bit and then pour it in. Now I'm going to be putting on the gloves and mixing the meatloaf mix. And I went ahead and pulled out my pan. It's a wee bit on the large size, but this is what I've always used. And there it is. It's ready to be put in the oven. The oven has preheated. It's ready to roll. And it's just that simple. You put it in the oven, bake at 350 for one hour or until done. And I will just check it um, probably about 30 minutes into it and then 45. And if it reaches the temp, that it's safe to pull out and eat. I will go ahead and pull it out. So I'll just keep an eye on it. So tonight's meal, Tuesday the 16th, meatloaf, regular mashed potatoes, cornbread, and I probably will open up a can of green beans and put the seasoning in those. And when we reach 1,000 subscribers, we have a wee bit to go, slow and steady, we will get there. However, when we do reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. She and doesn't the, have any in this style that I seen on her site last night when I ordered uh, the meal planners. So I ordered one for me, and then I've ordered a second one, the regular size meal planner, which that's what this is. And then I've ordered one mini meal planner. So I will be giving away not one meal planner, but to when we reach 1,000 subscribers, and it will be a random drawing. The first winner, they will receive the regular size meal planner, which is this size here. The second winner will receive the mini planner. And that is my way of saying thank you to you all. And all the planners were purchased with my own money. 
Cariel has no idea who Lisa's Cottage is and probably will never know who Lisa's Cottage is. So this will just be my way of saying thank you all for um, subscribing, following, liking, and sharing. When we hit that 1,000, I'll be doing the random draw giveaway. And this is Open International um, because quite a few of my subscribers are outside of the U.S. So if you are uh, outside the U.S., you can enter as well. And once we hit 1,000, I will, um, of course, we have three rules, and but I'll post that, um, the rules again, but I'll go ahead and tell you what they are, but oh, I will post those again when we hit 1,000 subscribers and I announce that I'm doing the giveaway. One, you have to be subscribed to Lisa's Cottage, our channel here. Um, two, hit that like button. Three, you will leave in the comments, I want to be entered in the meal planner giveaway. So it's just gonna be three simple rules in order to get your name placed into the random drawing. Again, I will announce all this once we get closer to 1,000 subscribers. So keep your eye out for when we get close. And now for the cleanup. However, it's already smelling some kind of a yummy in here. So there we have it. The meatloaf, mashed potatoes, green beans, and I did cook those in about two tablespoons of butter in a skillet. So I might have lied when I said I don't fry things. I did fry these green beans in butter. I just open a can, drain them, rinse them, and then I put about one to two tablespoons of butter in a skillet and then fry the green beans in the skillet and cornbread from a box. This is the cake. When you uh, when it's through baking, you take it out while it's still hot. I used a straw to put the hose in it and then you pour a can of uh, Eagle Brand milk on it, over it in the holes and you can see it settles along the sides here and then um, caramel, like ice cream topping caramel. And then once it's completely cool, I'll go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and let it really cool down. And then I will add the Cool Whip on top. And I usually put a pretty thick layer on top of it. So there is our Tuesday night dinner of my second week back into meal planning. So someone wanted a piece of the cake last night before I could get the Cool Whip topping on it. So I just ended up doing the topping, the Cool Whip, on top of this cake this morning. And you can see the caramel and the Eagle Brand milk, the ooey, gooey yumminess that's like on the bottom of the pan. He said it was good, so it looks good, but I won't know because I am not going to eat it. You may can see where um, the caramel and the Eagle Brand milk kind of oozed down into where I had put a hole with a straw. And that's what it's supposed to do. That's what the hose are for, for it to just kind of drizzle down in those holes. 